Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joop from Income Tech Design and in today's video we are going to talk about the uh, post listing for the cars. So last video we made uh, the singular car post types and showed them on the website and today we are going to make a slider on the homepage so that you can slide through the uh, specific cars that we made in the last video. If you haven't checked that video out, make sure to check it out first because it's really important to this video. And uh, yeah, we're going to create some uh, post listings and uh, in the next video we are going to cover the archive page for uh, the post types for the cars that we created in the last video. So stay tuned for that and uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, so uh, right now I have the uh, demo from Krokoblock open, uh, the Rengo website which we based previous videos on as well. Basically what they have is on their homepage, they have the listing of some cars based on specific uh, categories. We don't have categories yet, so we're just going to build up this. As you can see that you have a slider and that you have your cars with the car type. And if you click on one, it actually brings you to this specific car. Uh, and that's exactly what we want to achieve as well. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So. Um, what I have open right now is I have my uh, website where I'm actually building on uh, and we're going to replace this part with this slider. I also have the singular car open which we created in the last video so we can actually go ahead and copy some styling over uh, and maybe even some, um, um, yeah, some values. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see how we do this. Uh, I have been a bit sick, so maybe um, you can hear it in my voice. I apologize if it's uh, difficult to understand, but uh, yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the dashboard. And at the left bottom section here, we have jet engine. Last time we created a post type, but today we're going to create a listing. So uh, I deleted one, I already made one to test it out, but we're gonna build it again. So I'm gonna click on add new. For the listing source, you want to select posts. And from the post type, you want to click on cars or whatever custom post type you made with Jet Elements or Jet Engine. Sorry. So I'm gonna go click on cars, and the listing name is going to be uh, car dash listing. That's what I want to have. The listing view is going to be Elementor. You can also use Gutenberg, which is another page builder plugin, but uh, we're we're using Elementor, so let's stick to that. So we're gonna create the list item. Now um, we get a complete empty canvas right now and uh, what I should explain is you should think about how many uh, cars you want to display at once on your site. So for example, Crocoblock, the Rango website has three. So um, there is a little trick here what you can do. Normally if you would just create one, uh, you want to create uh, one specific listing. And you can see that the width is a bit small. And when I create one column, it's going to have this entire width. And we can't really work with that because if I put an image here and some text there, it's going to not use the right resolution that they have right here. As you can see, my image is way too big. So in order to bypass this, is we're going to create three columns. As you can see, let me set the height of this a little bit higher. There we go. Now we have three columns and the width is almost exactly as we wanted to have. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the background of the column white because if we have a gray background, we can actually see the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the listing pop out. So I'm gonna make it white. Okay, let's see what they have. They have an image, a title, the build here. They have some properties right here and then they have a button. That is the values that we have as well. So let's start with the image, right? So I'm just gonna drag in an image and I'm gonna click on the dynamic tags button right here. And I'm gonna scroll down to custom image, click on the wrench icon on the left and click on field and then select car main image. And there we already have our main car image, as easy as that. Next of all, we want to have the, uh, uh, the title. So I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, they have a title here as well. I'm gonna select this one from the singular car and I'm just gonna simply paste it in because we already copied and pasted it once why shouldn't we do it again right why would I want to select the custom field again here if we've already done it once so I'm gonna scale this down to 21 because I don't want it to make this big and this looks good for now next I'm gonna copy over 
the build here because that's what Croco Block has as well. Paste it in and I can just leave it at this because for me this looks fine. Now what do they have? They have some uh, listing here, some icons with some properties next to each other. So in order to achieve this we're going to use an icon list. I'm going to drag it in here, icon list and I'm going to select on inline. Now I'm going to get rid of all three of these, I'm going to let no, one stand there. So I can't really see what the text is, so I'm going to change the text to a darker blue color. All right now we can see what we're working with. So list item one, I want to uh, expand this one and click on the dynamic tags here. Scroll down to post, chat engine, custom field. And what do we want to display here? We want to display how many users or how many users, how many passengers are in the car. So what I do is I select the passengers and it's going to display the number of four because we can only sit with four people in this car. And then the icon, we're just gonna say user, not yester, user. There it is, user. And there it is. All right, so now I'm gonna duplicate this one. Let's see what else we have. We have the doors. How many doors do we have? So the custom field is going to be doors and the icon is going to be the open doors as well. There we go. And last but not least, we have the consumption because we don't work with the bags. Uh, I didn't add these. So we're gonna do consumption. So let's select consumption. Let's click on the icon and make it the gas pump icon. There we go, gas pump. And there we have our icons that we want to have. Now I'm going to style these up a little bit because they look not really nice if you ask me. So I'm going to make the size of the icons a bit bigger. Let's say 20. And the text, I'm going to make this a little bit. Now I'm going to keep it at 16, but I'm going to make the weight a bit bigger so it looks more like that and the icon color i'm gonna make it a big gray like a light grayish color so it looks like this this looks perfect for me all right now next of all what do we have we have the rent now button so what i want to do is we had want to have a button here that says see car or go to car or uh, view car that's it it's gonna go view car so i'm gonna drag in a button click on it or drag it in and then we see click here so first of all I'm gonna say view car and the link you can click on the dynamic tags and you can click on post URL that's it that's everything we need just the post URL that's it now uh, I'm gonna do the styling for a little bit so uh, I'm gonna keep the typography as it is because I like this typography but the color is going to be the primary one and I'm gonna disable a border radius because we have slightly curved edges on the border or on the button and I don't want that so I'm gonna keep it at zero. Now you can also add an animation so maybe I can do a shrink when you click on it it shrinks it looks quite nice or grow. Uh, I'm gonna keep shrink. All right shrink, shrink is good so now we have the car uh, let me just add a little bit of padding here so that we can actually see some there we go a little bit of padding and that looks nice so i'm going to update this uh, oh yeah before updating make sure to delete the other two columns you see this is how we would have worked if we didn't add the columns this this is not uh, nice to work with so i'm going to update this all right and let's get back to the dashboard and let's go to the home page of the website and now what I want to do is I want to add the listing here. Instead of these vehicles with these images, I want to add the listing. So I'm gonna edit this page with Elementor, wait for it to load. It's still loading. Okay, here we are. Still having trouble, okay, there we are. Scroll down to the recommended cars. And what I'm gonna search for the widget is I'm gonna search for listing. And here's a listing grid widget that comes with Jet Engine. So I want to drag it underneath the recommended cars and you can already see, please select a listing to show or create a new one. So the listing that I'm gonna type is the listing that we just created, which was the car listing. So I'm gonna select that and it automatically displays our car. Now it says, 
car listing columns number three here you can select how many cars you want to display i want to select three cars and the post number i'm going to get rid of it because there is no post number that we want to show uh, so i'm going to keep it at that all right so now what we have is we have six cars or sorry four cars underneath each other i don't want that i want to have a slider with my cars here because if we're going to add more cars that means that we're going to have a big list here and that's not what i want to achieve here so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to scroll down to the slider and I'm going to enable a slider. And as you can see it automatically comes up with this styling for me and I really like this because it actually goes along with my theme very well or with my theme with my styling. The only thing that I want to do is I want to edit this slider for a little bit. So I'm going to say that the indent on the left is going to be minus 41. And this is not a value that I just came up with, but it's a value I already tested out in the, before making this video. And the right end then as well. And you can also change the background of the slider uh, of the thing. So I'm gonna make this pair, perhaps the dark blue color. Yeah, that looks... Nah, I'm gonna revert it. I like the black color more. All right, we're gonna click on update and we can basically just get rid of this complete intersection. All right, so let's add some padding, some margin on the bottom here. One, two, three, four. All right, that looks great. So I'm gonna keep it at this. Let's update it and let's view the home page. Here we are, the home page. And here are our recommended cars with the images, the title and their own values inserted. And if we click on the slider, you can see we can just go through the cars that we already implemented on the website in the previous video. So now if I click on view car, you can already see the URL at the bottom left side here. It says slash car slash Hyundai venue slash infinity skyline slash Honda. So it actually corresponds already to our car which is amazing so if i go back and i select a different car for example this infinity skyline it already brings me to this page and this is truly amazing what you can achieve with croco blocks chat engine so that's actually going to be everything i want to cover in this video not as long as the previous one which might be better because it was almost half an hour um, I also want to thank Crocoblock because uh, they are uh, um, commenting on the videos that I'm creating and I'm really thankful for it because I really love them as a company, what they're doing and I also really uh, uh, get inspirational from them, purely from their uh, demos as well and their plugins that they create, they, they uh, made so much possible for WordPress. So thank you for uh, making this possible and uh, yeah. If you have any questions surrounding this topic, please let me know. Send me an email. Go to my website. It's uh, incometechdesign.com. Now, right now, it's fully in Dutch, so I still need to change it to English. Uh, but you can contact me through the contact page and uh, fill in the form. You can, yeah, contact me there, or you just uh, comment on the video. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.